this little depression right here, I think I just found another home site because I'm coming up with brick. I, I got a tomback button right over there, some square nails, and look at this signal right here. Look at this pewter, it's lead. Spoon bowl, look at that thing. That is awesome. Oh, it feels more like lead than pewter, but whoop. look at that thing, that is awesome. All right, I will be on this little hill for the rest of the day probably. See what else comes up. And out of this hole comes this beautiful spoon handle. Look at that thing. Definitely pewter. Whoop. Oh, there goes my plug. Look at that. That is amazing. Let's keep looking. Okay, just got me another little button. A little concave. Looks like it's got a little bit of a back mark, so I would say it's probably 1820s, maybe. I don't know. Let's keep going. Okay, guys, I think this is the uh, innards of a pocket watch something I'm not sure it's got a pretty big stud on the back but let's call it a pocket watch all right moving on okay might have a big dandy button here I don't know right there I oh, don't know what it is got a little hole in it what is that oh another piece of the clock all right I'll keep moving. Man, I thought that was going to be a button. Well, I believe an old home site, early colonial. Well, I say early colonial. I should, for Vermont, it's like 1790s. I think a home set right there on the hill. And here you go. 2001 dog tag. Isn't that the way it goes? Should have been a real. All right, let's keep looking. Okay, just got this uh, spoon bowl. It's kind of heavy. Looks like they melted lead in it. The lead's still in there. I think that's pretty cool. Whoop. Okay, interesting. Let's keep going. Not sure what I got here, so let's look at it together. Oh, what is that? That is an old buckle of some sort. Almost feels like it's lead or something. Isn't that odd? I don't know what that is. Interesting. Okay. Maybe somebody can tell me. It feels like it's made out of lead. Looks like it too. Huh. There's a new one on me. Keep going. Not sure what I got here. Mm, is it going to be a big button? I don't know. Piece of junk? Yeah, I think it's going to be a tin canny kind of thing. Oh, what is that? What is that? That's an interesting piece. What is that? I have no idea. Huh. Another mystery item. Let's keep going. Oh, 
Well, this hill right here that I'm on is loaded with brick and pottery and stuff. Now, there's a three-pronged fork. I've never gotten a three-pronged fork. I've always been two. Anybody know what the date of these things are? Cool. Okay, guys, uh, I'm thinking there was a house right there where my finger is. And I'm not, no, oh, I'm 50 feet away from the home site. And right here, I just popped up a nice little tomback button. And it was only a few inches under the ground. But there's, whoop, there's some history. Okay, got a lot of time left. Let's keep looking. Okay, out in the field here, got a little uh, thimble. I'm not too far from an old home site. These are tough to date, but uh, definitely not a farmer's tool, unless it's to fix his pants. Let's keep going. Okay guys, I don't have this out yet, but it looks like it's gonna be one of them weights weight and measure gizmos it's still stuck in over there so i'm going to dig that out slowly because i want to save whatever whatever it is and maybe it'll have some writing on it right here and we'll be able to date it all right i'll be back i'm going to get this out okay there it is some kind of a scale gizmo I think it's broke, but it swiveled on those little tips right there. Whoop, sorry. Swiveled on those little tips right there and probably had a few more hooks out here. And depending on uh, what hook you put it on, this was the counterweight. It measured whatever poundage that was, but that's where it swiveled right there. You can see it goes down. So you put the weights on, uh, material on, and you weigh it. All right, on to the next. Well, I'm at a uh, home site right on, almost right on top of it. Uh, it goes back to the 1770s or 80s. I don't think this is that old, but nice old weight uh, scale for a scale piece of iron thought I'd dig it very cool let's keep going okay guys just found this I don't know what the age of these are looks like it's got some costume jewelry in the bottom of it but little Indian probably um, necklace piece or something okay that's a cool one okay just pop me out a little Indian here 1889 it's the second Indian that I've found at this site here I don't know what was going on up here, but that's interesting. Let's keep looking. Okay, guys, I just got this uh, cool old pewter button. It's definitely got something on it. A star, maybe, with... Geez, I looked like there was writing around the edge, maybe. And then there's like, you know, looks like, well, I'm just seeing a rattlesnake with uh, two heads or something at the bottom. But, of course, that's what us diggers do. Imagine we got something more than we got. But I think that's pretty cool. Pretty old. Well, I'm going to keep looking for some more.
Okay, I just dug another button. This is about the third one I've dug up at this site. And it still has cloth on it. And I'm going to clean that up at home. But these are very interesting why the cloth would still be on them. And it was down, oh man, I'd say a good eight inches. So, that's what I'll find right there. Let's keep looking. Well, I have a map that says that there was a house right over there on that side of the road. And there was a house right here. And I believe it's been hunted out, but I'm right around the, the footprint and I just pulled out this old uh, pewter spoon bowl. It's in pretty good shape. So I was about three inches down, never hunted out. And this goes back to, well, the house supposedly was built according to a map I have in 1771, one of the first houses in the area. So let's keep looking, stuff's here. Okay, I'm back at the old home site. House sat right here. I'm going really, really slow. I think this place has been picked apart. And I'm stumbling over a few signals. And I just got this one here. A nice old tomback. And I'll take it. I know there's more here, so I'm gonna go slow. Let's see what I can find. Okay guys, I'm back at a spot where I believe there was a home. Look at these stones right there. Uh, there's another big one right there. They just messed up this field here, plowed it. So I found a couple nice coins right along here, along this edge. And I just went down in the dirt and pulled me up a nice little thimble. And uh, the earliest coin that I've gotten out of here was the 1774 um, French, um, I forgot what they call it, lair, something like that. All right, there's a nice find right there. Okay, there's a cool old button right there. Somebody's popped four holes on it. I think it might be lead, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But that's kind of nice. Keep looking. Okay, these stones, I believe, are from an old foundation and just uh, got me a copper. And it's obviously, oh, it looks like it might have a hole in it. I don't know. I have no idea what this is going to be. I guarantee, I predict it's going to be old because this is a pretty early site <gasps> wait a minute all right let me clean this up and hopefully i can get something off of it all right i'll be back okay guys uh i can't tell you what this is right now It looks like it's got writing in the middle, but the leaves on it and things are not right. I don't think it says one cent. I'll try to clean it up better at home. Not sure what I got here, but it's a copper. Woohoo! Okay, down under the tree there, there's the hole right there. Just popped out this button. Might have something on it. But it's pretty old. Ah, 
on to the next.